to do it. I want to, because I want to be our, our, our point. Break it off. Yeah. All right. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Mayor Slim. And I'm Kim. Today is, hold up, Ed, hold up. Today is, uh, what's today's September date? September 16th. September 16th, Wednesday. Um, we're going to talk about Power Ghosts, book two. Episode two. Episode two. Recap or whatever. The recap! All right, so we're on with our tone. All right, so, right, so, so we kind of son. Do you think Tommy helped Ghost fake his own death? Yeah. You do. Yeah. I agree. Just yes. Like. I agree. Elaborate. I agree. I agree. I I said it till the other day. I'm like, I think when well, I rewatched the episode the other day, I'm like, I think Ghost thought that Tasha was going to kill him. I, or or he knew he was coming because remember in the episode Tommy went and saw um, Tariq and Tariq told Tommy that he was going to kill Ghost. I think Tommy told Ghost it was just all a little too convenient. He was there um, in the episode if you watch the end of the episode when Tariq is coming out of truth, there's an ambulance going in the opposite direction with his lights flashing already. Like it already had picked somebody up was leaving already. Oh. Uh, you're you're right, Kim. Um, basically, basically, what I think is, all right, Mary. You see how Mary J. Blige failing me? You know, I think Ghost knows them. He told Tariq before he killed before Tariq shot him. He told Tariq. He said, "Before you, Tariq, if you do this." You can't turn his back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't come back. You can't go it. back. Yeah. So you're gonna be about his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And Mary J. Blige, she already like suspects something is up with Tariq because she's like, I want to know everything about we him. We haven't seen that. We haven't no, seen she did. No, no, no. She said it in this episode when he came back saying that Tariq said that Uncle Frank was a snitch. She's like, kill it. Like, I want to know everything about this boy. Give me everything you can find on this boy. Uh, she said it in this episode. Right. right. And what, what's up with the closed yeah. casket? The closed casket was just like, yeah. all right. What's up with that? Yeah. That screaming ghost is alive. Yeah. That screaming ghost is alive. That screaming ghost is alive. Yeah. Yeah. And Come then in. Tommy's not there at the funeral. Exactly. If he was or, really dead. Not just or Tommy. Or, yeah, the Democratic. Uh, Ramirez. Ramona, no, Ramona, Ramona. He was gonna marry and told Tasha he was wanted a divorce for her and all this stuff. He was starting a new life for her. She wasn't there at all. And and not just that, Simon Stern told Tariq. Was Simon Stern there? Yes. Was he at the funeral? Yes. Remember, he told Tariq not to say anything bad about his dad's name because it'll mess up their money. As he like did, says bad right. stuff about his reputation. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I, I just don't, I don't see I don't see how Ghost is dead. Sorry. And they called a show after him, named the show after him, and he's dead. Yeah. I just don't see it. I don't see it. He listen, listen. He set that will up. He set that will up, and that's all set up. He went to Stern. He knew that Tasha was going. He knew that Tasha was going to have to go to Stern. To get Tariq in the school, he knew the whole situation. Tariq right. got thrown out of choke. Tariq got thrown out of choke, so you know, and he wanted to run the streets. So Ghost was like, "Yo, the only way I could get him to go to school is, you know, what I mean, throw this in the well." Yeah. Why you think Tommy left? Yeah. Tommy agree. left his mom's house, and he had the envelope. I think. That right there was Ghost telling Tommy, you know, what the deal was. Because Tommy took off. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shit going on. But I think you know they're gonna they're gonna drag it out to the end of the season, and then yep. by the end of the season, Ghost is probably gonna have to pop up and save Tariq. Yeah, well, yeah. That's some real stuff. Now, when he pops up, does he try to hurt him, or is he just like, no. you shot me in the chest? No. Yeah. 
I think it's that was his trying, those, It's going to be one of those things. Him trying to force him to go to school was hoping that that'll get him back on the right track, track and out of drugs. Like, you can't have your mom. Well, his mom you was freaking school. pushing him towards the drugs. Yeah, like your father's gone. We need the money. You need to take care of me and your sister, basically. Like the only reason I, uh, the only, the only doubt that I had is the fact that he, um, he was, um, he was about to become the governor, basically. Shit, lieutenant yeah. governor. Why would you make your own debt for that? Well, maybe he knew there was no way out of it. Let me tell you, his son was coming yeah. to kill. They just saw this as an opportunity to to run away. Yeah. What's she doing? They was threatening. They was threatening. They was threatening to kill him and and to expose him. What do you mean threatening to kill him? All those people wanted to kill ghosts. Remember who shot ghosts? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He had mad beef, bro. He did. He did have mad beef. He did. Yeah. Yeah. They was threatening. To, they was threatening to kill him, and they was threatening. And they was threatening to uh, give up who he was and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. yeah, the cops were. wanted them. The cops wanted them too. The cops. The cops was coming to truth that night, but he already got shot. He got shot before the oh, yeah. detective bitch got there. Blanca Rodriguez, yeah. I mean, everybody was going to smoke him. Yeah. Kate was going to kill him. Um, white dude, Tariq, the sex. Mom, ball sex. Um, ball sex is the same. Um, everybody was going to go kill Everybody, everybody wanted to shoot the ghost. Everybody. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to tell you, he knew oh, that. Right. He knew that. Sister. Yeah, and he knew that. You know, the guy who knew everything about every, he had every, he knew everybody that was after him. But he was most epic head of everybody. Except for Tariq? He, I think he knew Tariq was after him. What was, wait, that's right, Blanca was there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, um, not Terry Silver, um, Big that's- Nose, no, Big Nose, uh, burnt in his cell. Oh, oh, Tommy's boy? Nah, the no. one that screwed Tommy, pretty much. Yeah, that ratted on him? No, that burned his warehouse down. I don't know what his name is. Ah, what's his name? Come on, so what's his name? Girl. The girl, uh, what's you, Jeff? That was in jail. That Tommy was watching him when they got arrested, right? Or is that who you're talking about? Oh, too bit, too bit. No, not too bit. Dre, 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 uh, Dre. Oh, like, you're fucking talking about. Yeah, Dre, Dre. Yeah, Dre, Dre, Dre. Dre, I mean, Dre was going to kill him for, for um, Tate. For that money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dre was going to kill him for Tate. He, yeah, he wanted that money. So, so everybody put a hit on him. Oh, and then, yo, what's that? Echoing again. And then, it was Tasha and Tariq that it out. It was actually Tasha's plan. It was just that Tariq's like, I'll do it. You're not doing it. I'll do it. But it was Tasha's plan. Yo, great. Yo, two bits still alive, too. Nah, two bits dead, bro. No, no, Spanky's dead. Spanky was yeah. still alive. Yeah. Two bits is still alive. Two yeah. bits in jail. Spanky was the rat that got out. All right, so two bits going to get with Tommy. When Too Big gets out, because it's a spinoff. I mean, everybody got a book, you know? It's yeah. It's a power book. So Tom, Tommy got his little thing. So when 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 Tommy, when they get to Tommy, Too Big's going to get into it. Because he's going to get out, get with Tommy, and then they're going to get back up with Goose. I'm telling you what's going to happen. I'm I think telling Tommy- you. I think Proctor's daughter is going to come after Tommy in the Tommy books. Yeah, I think yeah, I think she's going to come later on. You can just tell by the way they left it and the way she was looking at him. Like she knew he killed. He can have it. She knew he killed her dad. Like um, he told her, he's like, yo, if you're yeah. gonna come after me, come after me. Yeah, and I, I was like, she was young. I was like, when she gets a little bit older, she's gonna end up coming after like, Tommy. When Tommy least expects it. Yep. She's gonna come like pop up on him with some gangster shit. Yeah. Well, here, here, here's another kicker. Here's another kicker that they could twist it. Uh, at the end of the season, they could kill Tariq off. Right? 
Yeah, they could. You're right. They could kill Tariq off. Because after I, I, this book, they don't need him anymore. They don't need him anymore. In the, in, the epi- in the episode, in the episode, he, they told him it was like, yo, there's only two ways out of this. His dad told him it was two ways out of this, dead or in jail. And then Tariq said, I, I think I found another way. Remember? And that that was the last episode. Yeah, that's true. They could definitely kill Tariq. They don't need him after this book is over, because then it goes to, to I don't know what's after Tommy, but yo, hold up, hold up. We got it. We got it. I, I, we, when we did a list of who uh, Tariq had involved with getting killed, we got to add Proctor to that list. He got Proctor killed. But, did he get Proctor killed, or did he just open the door for Tommy to do it, though? Yeah, that he got Proctor killed. He could have, like, no. I don't think Tommy would have found it some other way if Tommy didn't leave, if uh, Tariq didn't leave the door open. No. Tommy was he going could, up there. No, there. not Ghost's house. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he, freaked, house. he took the daughter and left the back door open. He set yeah. Proctor up. And he had dropped the daughter off at her uncle's house. Yeah, like, come on. Really? And Tommy blew that house up. Like, come on. He lit that house up. That's a Tommy gun. Like, he shot up that house so bad. And that's there's nowhere Proctor is going. What? I think... Yo, Proctor... Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. I I think Proctor's people might kill Tariq. I don't know about that. Didn't Tommy kill Proctor's people? Is um, is, um, Benny... No, Benny the killed, Italians built, killed Benny, but Tommy had a job. Tommy killed, Tommy killed Benny. Benny, yes. That's Tommy, all I knew of Proctor's Tommy killed people. Benny. I don't know who else Proctor had but, besides Benny. All right, Tom, do you think, this is a question, do you think that, I, I can, we can kind of answer it earlier, do you think that Proctor's daughter is the one that ends, ends up killing Tommy in the, in, in, at the end, in the long run? No. No? You don't think Tommy's going to die? Uh, I think you're wrong. I, I think he, I think I think, he die, I think he dies. Like, yo, you ever watch Bulldog Empire? No. All right. Well, Nookie, in season one, no, season two, Nookie Thompson, I'll, tell, I'll just tell you real quick. Nookie Thompson kills uh, basically a guy that was like his son, Okay. Kills him. Mm-hmm. He had a son, and, and the dude that he killed had a little boy. And then later on, down at the end of the show, seasons later, the little boy like like infiltrates his organization. Yeah, when he gets older, yeah. And when he gets older, and kills and kills Nucky. Like you killed my dad. Like you yeah. killed my dad, and you and you ruined my grandma's life. Like so, he basically kills like that. Like the re- revenge for the son. So I, I I just kind of feel like Power's going to do that, but it's going to be well, Proctor. Proctor's daughter. Proctor's daughter. Proctor. We're not going to know it because it's going to be a different book. actor. It's going to be older. It's going to be in a different book too. It's, it's going to be a different later, series, yeah, like later, later down the road when Tommy gets like like friends with some girl or something and he ends up getting shot in his sleep. So I'm crazy. Or poison. That's a woman's weapon. But. Well, what what happened? Is the Italian still alive or they all dead, right? Yeah, Tommy killed them all. Tommy killed. All right. Yeah, so Tommy's Tommy hot right everybody. now. Tommy's, Tommy's a serial killer. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's no way in the world Ghost and Tommy don't know these Mary J. Blige's people, yo. Yo, you might be no right. Way. Agreed. There definitely might be a connection. You know, oh, remember uh, what's his name, Cristobal? Yes. Uh, the one that Ghost got out of the uh, that that gang. Mm-hmm. That might be mm-hmm. that dude's brother or something. Because he's right. Because Ghost and Tommy knew every drug dealer in New York. We never yeah. heard. Of, and, they, and they were at the top of the food chain. Yeah. We, so we never heard of Mary J. Blige or her husband Lorenzo or whoever. Yeah. He is. So I think he's gonna end up being like Cristobal's like. Uh, uh, brother or something, and go. He used to work for Ghost or something. So it's gonna, it's gonna be some kind of connection because there's been a lot of Spanish people in the show. That they can actually link, link to them somehow to Ghost. So, and Cristobal was it? Was it Cristobal? You sure it was Cristobal? One of them. 
Yeah. One of them essays? One of them. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know if it's Cristobal, but it was, I know it's <laughs> The guy that got the tattoo from the ta- ta- Tainos or whatever. Tainos. The T I Tainos got cut cut um cut the tattoo off his neck, and then um. Yeah, that's Cristobal. Yeah, it was Cristobal. And Dre set him up. Yeah. Because he wanted his job. Yeah. As, uh, as distro. Yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe his Spanish ass can be connected to Mary J. Watches because she seems to like the Spanish guys in this. Yeah, yeah. So she's tapping the cop. Mm-hmm. She, yeah, she's tapping, she's tapping, tapping the cop. The, cop. the cop. The Spanish cop. Ramirez. Cop. Yeah. So maybe, so just maybe, Cristobal was related to him somehow, and maybe with a twist. But there's going to be some kind of twist. Yeah. That relates. Um, Ghost and Tommy definitely maybe, know them. Maybe Ghost, ha, because remember Ghost and Tommy were at the top. Yeah, and at they the knew everybody. Of, they knew everybody that was below them. They knew the everybody the that was yeah. selling everywhere. Like everybody sold for them. Yeah. So you get somebody that nobody mm-hmm. sells for them in Queens, and they don't know nothing about it. That's their hometown. Like, come on. Mhm. So we'll see. Yeah, and you know, we'll see. that's yeah. something nobody else touched yeah, on either. That's crazy. The whole drug part of it. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? That's, I, I agree with you with that Cristobal theory because they they held him in a high position and yeah. the, you know Tommy Tommy and them value Cristobal you know what I'm saying yeah they did they did they did once, especially once, ghost. Once, 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 yeah especially ghosts too so they could have been doing a favor for somebody then yeah. it's time to cancel Cristobal mm-hmm. so that might have been who Cristobal was giving his Stuff too to sell. He was giving it to Sergi Lorenzo or whoever he is. No, well, I'm just saying maybe that was the connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 there's no way in the world they don't know. Some kind of Latin. Um, yeah, there's definitely no way they don't know him. They know him. They definitely know him. <laughs> That's why at the end of the episode, Barry J. Bosch says. Oh, find out, find out what you can on that St. Patrick kid. Yeah, give me I everything mean, you get. Yeah, give me, give me everything you can find on that so, St. Patrick kid. So if that was the case, if that was the case, we would definitely know more about Mary J and what she does. Right, right now they're not really telling you much who she is, what she does. Nope. It's kind of a little secret. Yeah, they just basically it's just, uh, uh, that guy's like aunt. She's, she just did she act like she's somebody's aunt. Yeah. And uh, her husband's in jail, but he was a major like drug kingpin and what? Yeah. yeah that, no, that's what they. That's what they charged. Um, what's her name? That's what they charged Tasha, Tasha. with. But her husband's in jail for selling drugs. Mm-hmm. Lorenzo. That's why Tariq was looking him up because um, his daughter told her like, oh yeah, my dad's such and such. He's in jail for selling drugs or whatever. And that's why. Tariq went and looked up his name. <laughs> Allegedly. That, that that that's the clue right there. Like, damn, my dad might know them. My dad might yeah. know him. Where yeah. was he selling drugs at? You know, that's good. I never even thought of that either. I thought he was looking him up to just get a connect to more drugs. I never even thought that he was looking for a connection. Like, hey, they they might know my dad. Maybe they're. Oh, that was, is that what? Say it again, so maybe that maybe. He looked them up. Once the girl said that the guy was a major drug dealer, he was in jail. Tariq looked him up. I bet you he looked him up just to see who he was, where he was from. What he, he looked probably like. Probably if he knew that. Yeah. If he's ever seen him. They showed the show the picture. Did he come to the family bar? They showed the picture of him. Yeah, with mm-hmm. Mary J. Fly behind him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Did he come to the family barbecues and... Was he on this? Did he work at the laundromat? Mm-hmm. Ghost, Maybe. Ghost knows him. We'll see. Ghost got knows this, him. Cause, crazy, like, stuff that I never even thought of that before. Yeah, well, Tony so, so, so be thinking deep into it. Yeah, he definitely, does, he, he definitely takes it to a level that I never thought of. Like, I thought he was calling him just for, because he wanted more drugs to make more money to pay the lawyer. Not, like, I never even crossed my mind that it was, he may be connected to his dad. 
I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, makes sense, plus, though. Plus what Teresa said at the funeral. Oh, I, I've known so, I found out so much about my dad after, since he's not here yeah. after he was here. Yeah. Like, okay, but you killed him. Like, I didn't know him when he was alive. I knew so much more now about him since he's, that, since he's gone. Like, yeah. All that's fake. All that's fake for us to think that he's dead for, for, the, for the next five or six episodes. I'm telling you. Go, so what do you think? Um, Ghost knows him. Either Ghost knows him. Tasha's dead too. Tasha might die uh, die at the end of the season too. But you think so? In jail? Gonna, yeah, like, she's probably gonna die in jail. Yeah. They're gonna let her take the rap with them girls. Gonna, yep. She's trying to get morning after pills and trying to uh, trying to buy her way in jail. Yeah, she's doing too much. So Tasha's gonna what? get fucked over, but. Ghost, ghost, ghost knows them, or 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 um, who was Fifty Canaan? Fifty's character knows them because remember, Ghost sent Canaan to jail back in the day. Yeah, that's true. That's ghost true. Ghost sent Canaan to jail, and Tariq used to always ask him about that, like what what happened and shit. Why are you sent Canaan to jail? Why you did this, this, that, whatever. So. And could be it could be that Ghost ran into this guy when he was in jail too. Is it that the same prison that Ghost was in? Mm-hmm. Now, later on, that this Lorenzo guy is in the same jail that Ghost was locked up in for a little bit of time. I'm telling you, it's 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 Ghost's it's Ghost's commands. He probably he probably was like, look, look after my, look after my son. I want him to see this life, but right. I don't want him to get hurt or killed or anything like that. I want, man, I want him to go to college. Yes. I want him to go to college. I want him to do the right thing, but he wants to run the streets. So, you know, protect, uh, let's, help him let's, protect let's, him. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, help me protect him, but, but let him see that he ain't about this life. Yeah. Remember, Kim, at the, remember in the second episode, the boy jumps out, the boy the other young boy jumps out the car. Mary, Mary J. Blige orders orders the uh, the son to to take Tariq home. Right. And he jumps out the car with a gun. Yeah. Kind of like trying to, to scare Tariq. Yeah, and then Tariq starts talking and, about Uncle Frank is a snitch, and yeah, you know, y'all gotta watch Uncle yeah. Frank. He's a snitch. Like he knows about all about snitches and stuff. Exactly. So that right there goes to tell you, like, they're all in on it. Like, how how do you pair Tariq with this basketball kid and then you go to exactly. his aunt's house? Everybody's in on it. Everybody's in like, on Tariq it. Tariq is some kind of brainiac or something. Like, he, he got kicked out of his last school in, in what, ninth yeah. grade? He's such a brainiac that he's going to be doing this basketball star's work. Yeah. So that he can he's tutoring him he now. Yeah, not just tutoring him; he's doing all his work for him. He said that if yeah, if the fuck. basketball player gets doesn't pass, then Tariq gets kicked out of school. So if he wants to stay in school, this guy's got to pass. Yeah, and Tariq wasn't smart. Tariq wasn't doing his own fucking work. Right. <laughs> I know. Right now he's doing this guy's work. <laughs> college. Yeah, you're right. It's all late. It's definitely all late. So wait. Why does Mary J? So this is what I want to know. Why does Mary J want her son to know that she's smashing a cop? Because she's married still. Her husband's in jail. But still, she's still married. Why? That's what I think. She's like, he can't know about this. He'll be really upset. Like, I think that's a bit. But he obviously knows. She's technically, she's still married. Well, not really. I don't know, because in preview for the next episode, we see him out. Yeah, yeah, but we'll see him in the bed. That might we'll be a conjugal visit. It could something. be a conjugal. Did they also do that in real life? Was that just a TV thing? <laughs> <laughs> they actually really have conjugal visit. Conjugal visit when you was locked up, bro? <laughs> no, hell no, man. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the boyfriend either. I'm not talking about T.O.'s. Nah. I'm not talking about in itself with locking your mouth being in <laughs> 
don't think I don't think Jersey has kind. Con- Let me get the fuck out of here, dog. I don't think, I don't think New Jersey has conjugal visits, dog. It took a minute to catch that. It took a minute to catch that one. <laughs> I don't know anywhere that it has conjugals except for TV. That's why I say that's like a real thing uh, that they actually really. It, it has to be a real thing. It has to be. Maybe that's just like. That, yeah, maybe that's like Australia. You have a man like coming in off the streets. Like, yeah, hey, I'm having a conjugal visit. Yeah, this man's yeah. coming to see me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> a man a off the street. all set up with romantic music and candles and a bed and condoms and everything. Like, you're not going to up because you're in here for the next 20 years. Yeah, they don't give people condoms. Yeah. I mean, I think they, I think they used to. But, but that's, that's another thing. Because Natasha, the one who's in jail for allegedly killing her husband, went to the funeral. Went to the funeral and was going to give the eulogy. So they were going to allow her out of jail to give the eulogy for the husband that she's in jail for killing. Yeah, no way. yeah that's Charlie Murphy last. <laughs> that would have never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Hit <laughs> it with the Charlie Murphy, dog. No way in hell you're going to yeah. go to the funeral of the husband that you were accused of yeah. killing. They won't even let you go to your parents' funeral, let alone your husband you're in jail for killing. Yeah, hell no. Well, she, well, she, was in, she, was in federal, she was in federal custody at the time. That was just her attorney trying to use it as a, a way well, to get federal, the jury pulled. Well, federal prison is different than state prison yeah. and the county. But see, so. that's the whole thing. Like, I get him. I get them allowing her to go to a funeral. But the funeral of the husband that she's in jail for killing? I don't know about that. Yeah. Like, yeah, if she was in jail yeah, and her I husband know. died, that'd be one thing. But if she's in jail for killing her husband, I doubt they're going to be like, what do you even want to go to the funeral for? You killed him. <laughs> yeah, what right, do you care yeah. about saying goodbye? You already said goodbye when you shot him. Yeah. Okay, what's kind of like a conflict of interest right there? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Probably, yeah. Definitely. I, I don't see it, but I don't know. Maybe in New York, New, New York, you're allowed to do things like Maybe that. Maybe in Australia, California, I don't know. Yeah, look it up. See if you're allowed to have conjugal visits in, uh, in um, New York. I doubt it. New York? Yeah. Um, there we go. Time to go visit the prison. Let's see what states allow it. None. <laughs> what well, says? Only, most states that allow conjugal visits require that the prisoners seeking such visits have a clean prison record of good behavior and no violence. Okay. Uh, anybody who is in jail for child abuse or domestic violence is not allowed to have one. Okay. All right. Are you so conjugal? C O N J U G A L. If you're maximum security, you're not allowed to have one. Okay. C O N J U G A L. All right, All so right. it's not in California, California, Connecticut, New York, and Washington have yep. it. Oh, so New York is allowed to have conjugal visits. Yep, they're the only yep. four states. Wow. It used to be New Mexico, but they stopped it. So there's only four states. Say that again? California, Connecticut, New York, and Washington are the only states that allow conjugal visits. That is so fucked up. All right, so that's New York. But wait, do you gotta be on death row? You gotta be on death row to get it or something, or no, labor to only I don't get it? Think so. I don't think so, because I know they don't allow for maximum security. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. So I could be doing a five flat in there and having my girl come up there every week. Because it says here, conjugal visits may figure prominently in movie plots, but they're hardly ever allowed in real life, as one New York prisoner has just learned the hard way. An appeals court ruled last week that whoever he's serving a 25-year to life for killing a woman to death would not be allowed to hold conjugal visits with his third wife, whom he married he was already in prison. New York is one of the few states in the U.S. that offer conjugal visits. 
1993, 17 states allowed conjugal visits. Now only four do. 17 states? In 1993. Now there's only four. Right. Now there's only four. Wow. Well, shout out to the guys yeah, in California. California, Connecticut, New York, and Washington. California, All right, so conjugal visits yeah. can only happen in medium or low Washington, security. Washington State? Yeah, Washington State, yeah. right? So the rules vary from state to state. In general, prisoners must apply for the privilege and are ineligible if they've committed. Where y'all go? Thank you. 